Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 13th. Uh, This week, Taurus, we're just going to jump right in here, as always, (laughs) and we're going to see what is coming up for you. Uh, This looks really good. Uh, You have this new beginning card, which I love because, I don't know, it looks nice. And also, the sun is kind of like coming up on this card. So we're off to a good start here, Taurus. Uh, Clearly, you have this let it go card with the seven of swords and the six of swords. I mean, literally, uh, the six of swords could represent letting something go. It is a card of, you know, going through a rite of passage, Uh, moving forward, Um, but also it's a card of like needing to let go of baggage or um, something from the past here. It's like, um, you know, I did another reading this week and I can't remember uh, who it was for. I feel like it was for one of you earth signs. And uh, I was talking about having like a ball and chain around your neck and uh, allowing something to kind of weigh you down. It's like sometimes I think if we don't let go of the past, it's like then we just have like this ball and chain around our neck that prevent that just weighs us down, right? That's why I feel it's like a good idea sometimes to let something go here um, sometimes with the Six of Swords. And uh, like I said, you have this let it go card here. So, you know, again, this could be like one of a million situations. Intuitively, I do feel for a lot of you, this is actually like a friendship situation here, mostly because of this three of cups right here. So what I would say to you is if you had like a friend stab you in the back, for some of you, I feel like this is like a backstabbing situation and it feels like a friendship uh, type situation to me. So again, if you experienced that recently or in the recent past, uh, this could just represent kind of like letting it go so that it no longer hurts you, um, you know, with what's going on here. It's pretty simple. For others, it could be a love situation where maybe you were kind of like... um, you know, stabbed in the back with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords doesn't really represent being stabbed in the back to me, but it is a card of lying, cheating, stealing. So, you know, it's kind of similar, I would say, but I am, I keep getting stabbed in the back. So um, what I would say to you here is whatever it is that you need to let go of, it's something that's stabbing you kind of like in the back, basically. You have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Three of Cups here. I feel like this is almost like what you need to focus on at this time is what makes you strong. I am getting this like weird message here, Taurus. Like I would just be just in general, right? Um, You know, I would say that there could be like a lot going on where, and I'm wondering, you know, I kind of get this like word vulnerability is actually popping into my head with the Empress card. The Empress here is a really good card. It is a card of abundance and success and all these other things, but she is vulnerable. She is wearing clothing that is meant to look heavy. It's meant to look like it is quality, but it is also heavy. And she doesn't have any armor on either. And for whatever reason, that's popping into my head. So I feel for some of you, it's like, it's kind of like this, um, there's this energy of vulnerability here, but I feel like it's saying you need to focus on the things that kind of make you strong. The Three of Cups can be community, it can be a card of uh, celebrations and happiness and things, but it can also be three just different aspects of you, Taurus. It can be three things that make you strong three things that make you special. And that's what I would focus on uh, this week. I just get this feeling like if you're in the public eye or you know if you're thinking about doing something, you could be dealing with like trolls or haters or things like that, Taurus. And uh, I would just say, just focus on you this week. I wouldn't worry about like the trolls, the haters and like all that other stuff, right? Uh, let's uh, clarify this and see where it's going. Uh, With the Seven of Swords, you have the Four of Wands here. Uh, In a lot of ways, that would say that you're setting yourself free from a Seven of Swords, this backstabbing type situation here. So, you know, there's really nothing else to say there. (laughs) Uh, With the Six of Swords, you have the Seven of Swords. uh, Basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. So I would let go of the kind of, um, you know, backstabbing energy or or taking something too seriously here as well. I would also, like, I'm getting a lot in this first row, Taurus, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like there is a need to kind of also focus on the big picture. For some reason, I feel very more like drawn in. You know, I feel very, very focused. But again, sometimes I think if we're like too focused on something, we we miss the big picture. And that's definitely popping into my head. Very general message, but um, you know, just to give you some examples, it's like, like I, I almost feel like you need to zoom out 
right? <laughs> because, uh, you know, sometimes I think we can um, be like worrying about what's going on in the world. But I think what people need to do is maybe like zoom out and just realize this is just a dip, you know, this is just a period of time that's not going to last forever. So it's like, I, I feel like there could be a lot of moments where you kind of like need to see the big picture um, so that you just don't miss like, and I, I feel like this is you um, receiving an opportunity. And I, I feel like there's a really, like, I feel like you need to not miss the opportunity is what I'm trying to say here. It, but I'm trying to come up with a good example. Again, same thing at work as well. It's like sometimes, or like in business, right? I feel like we could, maybe somebody comes to us and they tell us an idea and we're like, ah, oh, whatever, you know, we, we, maybe we analyze it too much and we just don't see the potential. Like I get this very strong need for you to kind of like zoom out and see the bigger picture on a situation. I would say this is going to be obvious. I feel like someone is coming to you, bringing you an opportunity. Could be financial for a lot of you. And it could be in work or business is where I'm seeing this. Even if you're retired, this could be like a financial opportunity that comes your way. I feel like there's a need to kind of like zoom out and take everything in here. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, right there. <laughs> The world need needing to zoom out, needing to take everything in. So I really feel there's like a need to kind of look at the bigger picture this week, just in general. Again, I feel like you need to like you could be too focused and just needing to zoom out would kind of like help you with this energy. So uh, that's what I'm getting there, Taurus. I'm uh, pretty weird. Uh, next, you have this new beginning card. I do feel like there's a very solid new beginning where the sun is coming up. I love this card. So it is a very positive new beginning here. You have the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So this to me would represent some sort of conflict or some sort of competition to have this new beginning. I always say that with the Five of Wands, this is not a bad thing. Um, to me, the Five of Wands can be a good card, actually, because these people, they are learning how to fight. They are like training. They are learning how to have battle. But it could also just represent a barrier to entry here on this Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, I do feel that there could be some sort of barrier to entry. Like maybe uh, you have a buddy who, or a friend who comes to you and is like, I have this great business idea. Maybe you zoom out, like I said, you see the bigger picture, but then you're like, well, how do we get the money? How do we, you know, do X, Y, and Z? Everything, it's amazing how this reading is laid out. You have this building blocks card as well. So it's kind of like saying things will fall into place. Um, but the five ones more saying like, yeah, this is going, you are going to have to figure it out. You are going to have to put in the work. It's just not going to magically happen, right? But I feel like there is a very solid opportunity before you. Uh, I always call this card Indiana Jones, the five ones, because to me, it represents like going through some sort of crazy adventure, like running through a temple to find some treasure. It's, it kind of represents needing to go through some things to, and needing to overcome those things to get something better or to, you know, create something something greater in your life. The Four of Swords, I feel, is like kind of saying that it's time to take action. He's been resting for a while here on this Four of Swords, but he kind of needs to grab this sword right here, and he needs to kind of get moving. So I do feel this need for you to kind of like take action on something. So we'll, uh, let's see what that something is right now here, Taurus, with some clarifiers. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. Um, strength can represent overcoming some inner demons, some inner things as well. I feel like it would be a good, uh, a good time for you to maybe, you know, um, you know, I'm just going to tell you what I'm hearing here as well, Taurus. I feel for some of you, it's like you could have a similar situation coming up in your life where maybe you had, uh, maybe you started working with a friend. Maybe they uh, stabbed you in the back or something like that. And it's like there's going to be a new opportunity that comes in for you that could be very similar. I feel like the strength card is asking you to like go inside yourself and say like, okay, what things inside of me uh, stopped me from moving forward, right? And then I would learn how to tame those, you know, inner demons, you know, and this card is all about taming your inner beast, your inner lion, right? So that you can be successful. Uh, personally, I love the strength card because to me, it's a card of standing out. You know, who in their right mind puts their hands in a lion's mouth? Nobody, as I always say. So it's kind of like saying, if you tame those inner beasts, those inner lions, demons, whatever you want to call them, you will stand out. You will be seen as being very successful. And it's also a card of a rite of passage, kind of, kind of like the Six of Swords. So this is definitely a, you know, rite of passage reading, I would say. 
With the Five of Wands, you have the Ace of Wands. Allow your inspirations to be your guide. The Ace of Wands can just represent a spark. I always say I love the Ace of Wands because it's like the one thing we need. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's like if you've been stuck, if you've been held back, if you've been trying to make things perfect with the Seven of Swords, uh, if you've been not sure what to do, the Ace of Wands is like that one thing, that one spark of inspiration, that one jolt that we need to get moving forward in life, you know, in work or business especially, uh, but also other areas, of course you know, can be a very romantic card as well. So whatever it is you're looking for, I kind of feel this is something uh, coming in for you this week that gives you hope, you know. And two aces is a definite yes. And with the four swords, you have three aces, the ace of swords. The ace of swords is a card of inspiration. <laughs> so uh, I feel inspiration coming in for you. I also feel like you're kind of like conquering uh, things very, very quickly with the ace of swords. I would be careful of your words at this time. And, you know, especially the ones that you use with yourself here, for whatever reason, I'm seeing this Three of Cups as yourself, yeah, as you, Taurus. I'm not seeing it necessarily as your community or, you know, people in your life. I'm seeing this more as, like, three parts of you that need to be fed, three parts of you that need to be nurtured, right? And uh, three things that maybe make you special. Maybe it's time for you to figure out what those things are. But the Ace of Swords, I feel, is saying be careful of the words that you're using at this time. Next, you have this building blocks card. So I feel like everything is falling into place. You can see here these blocks are falling into place and they're slowly lifting her up here. So I feel like the universe is trying to help you. As I always say, the universe doesn't just like allow things to happen. The universe doesn't necessarily uh, just make things happen. The universe wants us to grow. We're not necessarily here to be given things. We are here to create our own reality. So, you know, I always get tons of comments, as I always say, that where people are like, you said this was going to happen, nothing happened. I'm like, yeah, nothing just happens. We, we have to put in the work. I think that's one of the, you know, it's one of my bugaboos with the spiritual community in the first place is to make it seem like, oh, you're going to just like sit around and do nothing and think about stuff and it's going to happen. It's like that's part of it, but we also have to take action as well. And so it's like there are tons of people like Esther Hicks. I love Esther Hicks, but you know, one thing I disagree with is I think that we do need a little bit more action and, and you know, we do need to maybe put in a little bit more work than she makes it seem or you know, Abraham makes it seem, right? So, you know, that's what I'll say there. Um, but uh, you know, I feel like this is kind of a good thing. I feel like you're manifesting things. You have the four cups right here. He has manifest those, manifested those four cups in front of him. You have the four cups, the empress, and the knight of pentacles. Here's the action that needs to be taken. It's like you have this field back here. You know, there's an empty field. There's nothing growing in it. So, you know, it's kind of like a blank canvas. And again, I pretty sure it was you in one of your most recent readings I was talking all about like it's almost like you're being given this blank canvas it's like you just need to it's like you have to fill it with stuff right so I feel like for some of you the net of pentacles is talking about getting you know putting things into action you have everything you need here with the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles represents having all the wisdom all the knowledge everything there are oak leaves on the knight of pentacles and those oak leaves represent knowledge wisdom you know, all sorts of things. So I feel you have the knowledge and wisdom necessary to plant those fields, to create a lot of abundance. And clearly, look, she has wheat growing in front of her here on the Empress. She also has 12 stars on her head. Actually, don't even get me started. I love this deck, but this deck, they have 13 stars. Uh, so I, and you know, whatever, mistake, right? <laughs> it was a misprint. But what I would say here, she has 12 stars on her head and it represents 12 signs of the Zodiac. She has made her way through all 12 signs. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, actually, I think this is this is the one that has 11. One of them has le one less, I think, uh, as well. Uh, yeah, this one has 11, sorry. Um, there's, there's, there, were, there was a misprint with this deck. Um, but anyway, uh, what I would say here is I feel like you've been through all 12 signs and it represents knowledge and wisdom and having learned from something. So I feel there's a lot of abundance coming in for you here, Taurus. I feel like you need to see the things that are in front of you as opportunities as well with the four cups. He's kind of like ignoring everything that is here. But uh, if he would just like grab onto one of those cups, he would have everything he needs. I, I kind of am getting here, Taurus, as well. 
Like if you're trying to grow a business or if you're trying to, uh, you know, find resources like money for something, I feel that there could be like random opportunities for you to uh, get money. I would take advantage of those opportunities as well. Um, and what I mean by that is it's like, you know, I, I do feel like you're gonna have to be resourceful. Like if a friend comes to you and is like, I have this great business idea, you zoom out, you see it as a great business idea. I feel like there are gonna be some things that inside of you, Three of Cups, where you could make the money to fund the project, right? And what I mean by that is like, maybe you have a special um, uh, talent, skill, or ability that you could offer for sale. Um, there could be like random opportunities for you to uh, make money, uh, you know, where you are. Maybe you have to do something extra, right? Maybe you have to go hustle, but uh, I feel like it'll be worth the hustle here, Taurus, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, let's see where this is going. With the Four of Cups, you have the Nine of Swords here. Uh, yeah, like I feel like some of you, <laughs> like I'm getting scraps basically in my head. I, like I'm getting something about eating scraps or something. I don't think you're literally eating scraps. I feel like it's like saying, I feel like you are saying, am I always just gonna be getting scraps? Am I always just gonna be getting just enough? I feel like you're trying to get to this Empress place, obviously. With the Empress, you have the Three of Swords. Uh, I would like get out of your head. I feel like you're healing as well. Uh, again, I read intuitively, and I kind of feel like that Three of Swords is almost in reverse. So I do feel some of you are going through a healing, and uh, that would be a good thing. And with the uh, Knight of Pentacles, you have the Hangman needing to take action, basically. It's kind of strange. Like, all of a sudden, all my readings have had something about making a sacrifice. Ace of Swords is a sacrifice. Hangman can represent making a sacrifice as well. It might have been one of your readings about that was about, uh, you know, one of the last readings I did for you was about like cutting things out. So some of you might be sacrificing the old to step into the new. That would make sense to me. I don't know. It just seems like everybody's doing that right now. And it would probably be a good thing. I mean, even the world is a birthing process. It's like she's being born into a new world. And when you're in the birthing process, I always say the world to me can represent kind of being stuck in the squeeze. It can say you haven't quite popped out the other side yet. So, you know, it can say that sacrifice needs to be made to get to the other side but pretty good reading here is what I would say to you definitely a new beginning with three aces showing up and all these portal cards as well four wands is a portal it's like you're on this side of the card these people are celebrating on the other side of the four wands so it's kind of like you have to step through a threshold you have to step through a portal the world card like we just talked about you have to step through the portal to have the new beginning you have the ace of pentacles here as well there's a portal right here that you have to step through to get to the other side basically so uh uh, I feel that this is just a new beginning reading. <laughs> Having said all that, Taurus, there is a very exciting new beginning. I would be looking for, you know, my only advice for you here is I feel like there's a, op there are opportunities for you to kind of like build this up higher right here. And I feel like those opportunities are going to be random. It's like, you know, I, I do feel like you're going to have to potentially hustle um, to get some resources, but I feel those opportunities will exist. I always tell people, it's like, you know, if I were trying to start a business and I need money, I would be going on Craigslist or something. There are always people like saying, come clean my garage, I'll pay you 200 bucks or whatever. It's like there are tons of, there's tons of abundance, tons of opportunities to, you know, make money. There are, there are other hustles as well. I mean, that's just one example, right? So I do feel like taking advantage of those things would be a good idea for some of you. For others, I don't even think you're gonna have to do it I, I like i feel like there is it's just like there's a skill that you maybe you need to like offer right that could kind of uh, lift you up in some way but pretty good reading i like this so thank you for being here taurus really appreciate it make sure to watch your sun moon and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time but thank you and definitely enjoy your week